You gotta respect authority. And as a Christian, you gotta be the first example of the one who wants to respect authority. Yes. Another thing I want to talk about courage, my dear friends. Don't be afraid. Some of you may be going through stuff. Emotional stress. Family problems. Some of you ladies here, let's face it, I didn't come to say that, but it, it's coming out. Your husband may have just said you just like that. You went know why? Didn't know what you did. He just walked away. He may, a man may have walked away, but Jesus is still with you. Courage, women. All my dear women, distinguished women, courage. Jesus has not left you. Some people come into the life, into your life. They get away. When they walk away, let them go. Let them walk away. Because if they were there to stay, they would remain forever. Because I want to say, unless the Lord builds the house, he'll never in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. Some of the men may be here. Sadly, your women, your, your, your lady may have left you. You are lonely. You are left with what we call a tobacco. Maybe category one, category two, category three, category four, and category eight is extremely dangerous. Sorry, you feel like your heart is broken. And you say, Lord, what did I do? But the Lord is saying to you tonight, courage, my son, I am with you always. Do not be afraid. Some of us may be going through financial difficulties. You're wondering when will the next set of money come so that I may pay my rent. The landlord may be saying to you, time to go. I cannot stick you again and they may be saying, I want to do a paid job. Sometimes when they say I want to do a paid job, they want to say to you technically, I'm tired of you. And they may be wondering where is the next money going to come from. But I want to say to you, courage. Those who trust in Jesus, there may be a financial recession. But in the kingdom of God, there is never a faith-free recession. So pray about it. Give it to the Lord. Offer it to the Lord. And the Lord will never forsake you. He will never leave you lonely. Because God is on your side. There are those of you here. I know. Mothers. The children giving you beats. Your kids are allowing you to suffer. No respect. They cuss in your left, right, and center. And they tell you about things. And then the children have the audacity these days to say, Mommy, you've never done anything good for me. Daddy, you've never done anything good for me. And you feel hurt and crushed. Isn't that true? I want to say to you, don't curse them. Courage, my daughters. To the father's courage as well. Some of you may be going through disease, experiencing terminal diseases, or you may be sick in different ways. And you, you ask the Lord, Lord, what did I do in order to contract this disease? <laughs> Lord, what did I do wrong? How come, Lord, I'm so sick? The Lord says to you, I am the Lord. That he that be, I am the Lord your healer. I sent my word and healed your disease. I am the Lord your healer. Courage, my friends. Courage. Some of you young people here may be suffering from low self-esteem and self-worth. And then you'll say, what well, nobody cares about, nobody loves. I don't think my mom loves me, my daddy loves me. So what you do? You begin to exhibit self-destructive behaviors. And then you're hurting yourself. Promise sexual promiscuity, immorality, and all kinds of self-destructive habits. I want you to turn to the Lord. And the Lord says to you, Courage, do not be afraid. It is I. God is on your side. God is on your side. Amen. I want to say to you, those of us here, who have never heard somebody say to us, I love you, 
Are you allowed? Are you a good? You are pretty. And to be honest with you, some of you really think the truth and in fact, no matter how somebody said to you, you're good, the king and say nothing. But if you say not to you, if you think you're pretty, well, you're going to. <laughs> Believe in yourself. God made you wonderful. You are wonderful in me. And even though people bring you down, they use words to bring you down. God says to you, I love you. Courage, my friend. Ladies, you are pretty. Guys, you are very handsome. You are not a mistake. God don't make mistakes. God has a perfect way of working things out. In the sight of human persons, you may be a mistake, but God will make a lot of you the mistake to become a sweet mistake. Because nothing is lost in the Lord. Some of you are searching for love. And love in the wrong places. Thank you, preacher. Sometimes you go to a man and you say, I want to feel some love. I need some love. I want to feel your love. And sometimes some of you fall for that. The man, the boy comes to a young lady. Whenever you see him walking, people trade their head on down. I'm going to use an example. A young man comes to one of you. So you granny, you know, if I see a young man, can All right, let's fix it. Granny, the young man must respect the grannies. A young man comes up to you and say, Listen up, I let a check for you, you know. I love you. I want to feel you. I want you to show me a love motion. Darling, we've been together for so long. What do you want me to prove my love? You know, if you reject for me, I'm going to see Dorothy. From the time Cindy had, oh no, oh no, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. If they want to go, let them go. You must be courageous and stand up for one point in Jesus' name. Let them go, let them go in Jesus' name. And for those of you, I want to say to you, strong tonight as a Catholic priest. <laughs> we all make me six. Human persons make me six. If you make one mistake, you can recommit yourself to the Lord during this weekend. Find a priest, a good confession, and say, Goodbye, world. I'll stand no longer with you. I've made up my mind to go to Jesus' way. Marisa, good to see you.